In this video, I'm going to digitally illustrate the removal of trees for a proposed town development project. The plans for this development are not finalized, so I urge all viewers to please consider this a graphical conceptualization rather than an illustration of what will actually be done for this project. As a further disclaimer, please note that I am not a licensed surveyor and nothing shown in this video should be used for any purpose that requires an official survey or engineering grade materials. This is a portion of a larger 212 acre set of properties comprising the former Shadow Pines Golf Course that the town of Penfield, New York purchased in 2018. One of several land improvements being considered would build recreational facilities in the northeast section of the north lot. Pickleball courts, an athletic field, a parking area, pavilions, and a restroom are some elements of that plan. This map depicts one version of phase one of this plan. What you see here is the result of my work that combined a black and white line drawing map found on the town website with Google aerial imagery using QGIS software. Current guidance from the town indicates that about 10 to 15 acres of land will be graded as part of the project requiring the removal of some trees. New tree planting has been presented as part of the conceptual plan but the requirements for that, like the rest of the plan, have not been finalized. This enhanced map adds ground elevation contours and color-coded elevations of trees to show their heights. These graphics were derived from publicly available LIDAR USGS datasets that were acquired in 2018. Finally, a thick red line that I drew shows a marking of 15 acres of area that suggests those portions of the land might be possibly cleared for the project. Without a detailed finalized development plan, this is a best current guess of which sections of the land would be graded. In an effort to better appreciate and visualize the changes that would come to the land with the potential future removal of trees, drone imagery was captured and processed into a 3D model using Agisoft Metashape software. A visualization of this model is shown here as a virtual fly-through animation of the colorized 3D shaded model. The locations where the photos were taken are shown with blue rectangles. Four crosshatched mapping flights were flown, each covering about nine acres. Drone deploy software was used to plan and then fly the missions using a Skydio 2 drone. Missions were configured for an 80% front image overlap, a 68% side overlap, a minus 65 degree gimbal angle, a perimeter path, and an altitude of 180 feet. In total, 1,121 12 megapixel images were captured. This is a repeat of the virtual fly through animation, but without the display of the camera locations. The quality of the model is pretty good, except for the poor quality of most of the deciduous trees. The lack of leaves on them at this early spring date, April 17, 2023 to be exact, does not provide a good canopy for imaging. Most branches above the tree trunks are only a few inches wide or less. Though the trees look good in individual photos, there is not enough detail to resolve those features in the 3D model. Note that because the deciduous trees were not well represented, in the geometry of the 3D model, photo texturing was not applied. The mesh colorized model was edited by hand to remove sections of the mesh that were part of the trees that fell within the red lined area shown earlier on a map. It is shown here as part of this final fly through by flipping back and forth between the two visualizations. Please note of course that once the recreational facilities are added, this cleared space will look much better. Perhaps once the leaves have returned to the trees, I'll fly the property again and create a new model of the land.
Thanks for watching.